tonight I'm going to make a pan fried haddock the easy way I'm going to serve it with um, garlic peppered squid um, it's not a lot it's just I just need it just to garnish it on top of the, the fish later and then I also made this um, pea puree I'm going to serve it with that and also spinach and I have my potato baking in the oven so first of all what I did is the squid is I scored it and then season it with garlic pepper salt and fresh parsley and the fish itself I season it with salt and pepper and now I'm going to pan fry it Sorry guys, um, I've, I already used the pan before because I pan fry the potato before I baked it in the oven. So I'm just going to leave it to bake for now and then I'm going to do, I'm going to fry this fresh. Right, what do I need? I need for that. So this is a haddock. Actually, I didn't buy this. Quite lucky because a friend of us gave this to us. So, I'm just going to add a little bit of olive oil. I'm not using extra virgin olive oil, guys. It's just a normal olive oil I'm using here. I only use extra virgin olive oil for my salad. Hello, princess. Hello. Hello. Mommy's cooking do? dinner. I'm cooking dinner. Yeah. And dinner. Mommy's cooking dinner. <laughs> and dinner. Yeah. And peas. Well, I'm making a pea puree, okay? Okay, peas. Yeah. Right. I'm just going to wait for my pan to get hot and then I'm going to pan fry it. Yeah, this is all I need, guys. I, I don't need a big or lots of oil in my pan. Okay, that's the one. I think it's now... Now I'm ready to so I'm going to start on this. And while I'm waiting for my fish to be cooked, I'm going to light the candles. The beautiful. I like candles. I can't see it. Where is it? This little girl, he's a naughty girl. All right, that's my table. Now, guys, I'm going to check my fish, and I think it's ready to turn it over. Not quiet yet. So, I'm going to put the lid back on again, and then this one is bubbling away. Yes, this is not fish finger baby. It's um it's a pan fried haddock one making, okay? Okay. So the reason why I'm keeping the lid on because I'd like to keep that steam so that the fish is stay moist. Now I think it's ready to turn it over. Okay. 
Odin. So I'm just gonna leave it for two minutes, literally done, and then that will be done, and then I'm going to cook the rest. And there it is, it's ready. So I'm going to. Beautiful. I love the fish. Then I'm going to cook the rest of the fish. And then put it on. And then after this, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook the pepper garlic squid, which is only takes three minutes to cook. Because It's only one piece of um, squid, this one, because I don't really need a lot. more that's enough and then 
using the back of my spade I'm going to uh, I need my turn turning plate on this one but it's okay just spread it nicely and evenly um, it doesn't have to be perfect this is a home cook at the end of the day that's it and then on top of that I'm going to add my spinach just in the middle It doesn't have to be spinach guys whatever you prefer um, preferred vegetable but I like spinach I'm just um, like that and then next one is my baked potato Yes. Okay. Just drizzle balsamic into it. And then I have my crust as well. My crust salad. So I'm going to use, I'm just going to get a bunch of it. Just a sprinkle, a sprinkle on top. Just you know, a little bit of art. More. Okay. So after that, you can see because I cook a lot of fish. I'm thinking to add another one inside. house I'm the only one who ate caviar so this is going to be my plate so I'm going to put I'm going to add black caviar it's a black long fish caviar which I bought in waitress so I don't know I just love caviar but my hubby doesn't like caviar so what I'm gonna do with the caviar is just spawn it on top There you have it. Pan fry haddock served with pea puree, spinach, baked potato, garnish with crust, and topped with a teaspoon of caviar and glazed balsamic vinegar. Sophie, Daddy, dinner is ready. 